Time for the ridiculous, and tonight we're adding attention-seeking cats. You heard me, all you cats who love the spotlight. So here's what happened. I'm sure you've seen the video. A reporter in Michigan was doing what we in the TV biz call a live tease. That's right, we have our own lingo. You can ask Wolf Blitzer about it. Anyway, everything was going fine until an unexpected visitor showed up. In a very appropriate fashion later today, I'm Nicole DiDonato, live in East Town. And those details coming up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's a way to start a Thursday, Nicole. Oh my gosh. We wow. heard that cat in the background. Yes. Oh my. For the record, that's Nicole, great. Was, we were doing a mic check with Nicole for her live shot, and we heard the row, row, and we're like, "What's going on? I hope she's okay." First of all, I think the reporter deserves a lot of credit for not freaking out. Also, I love how her colleagues are just laughing it up. If that was CNN, we would have already dispatched Gary Tuckman to interview both the cat and the cat's neighbors. I will say though, the cat was kind of adorable. Let's see this again. See, right there, there's your winning anchor team, a lady with a cat on her shoulder. Time to add another hour to the Today Show. Call up Hoda and Kathy Lee. The cat actually showed up again while the reporter was finishing her story, but as strange as it was, it doesn't compare to what happened a few years ago in Ohio. Take a look. Well, the couple was accused of throwing two cats like this one here out of their car and killing them. Now as part of their sentence, this little guy's having fun, but now as part of their sentence, the couple is going to have to come right here. Ooh, and <laughs> Now, before you get upset and tweet me, I should point out the reporter said she was fine. She even went on the air the next night to say she thought it was kind of funny. But here's the thing. This attention-seeking, it's not limited to cats that honk on, in on live shots or mall reporters. Remember Sal Esposito? How cute you could forget Sal Esposito, that rascal. Sal liked the spotlight so much, he weaseled his way into jury duty. And I read the whole thing, and I said, oh, my God, how could he, how could he go? He's a cat. I said, Sal, what? what what's this? I said, Sal, what is this? It's not just Sal Esposito. It's not even the cats who want to be local TV stars. Some cats have their sights set on the big time. That's right. Remember this guy, the cat who looks like me? Damn, as much as I want to hate him, that cat is just too good looking. Wait, what's that? I'm being told something in my ear. The monkey who looks like Larry King wants some FaceTime. See, cats, look what you've started. Now everyone wants to be a star. We will use any excuse to show that monkey shock. Can we see it again? Do we have it again? I love it. As for the cat in Michigan, the reporter whose live shot he interrupted tweeted that she thinks his owner might have come forward. If not, don't worry, cat. You'll always have a home and nine lives of fame on the ridiculous.